Now, I was having conversations with some people that develop nuclear fuels. Mm. Okay, lithium-6 and lithium-7. They're physicists. And they create these things for nuclear power plants, uh, fission and fusion-based for molten salt reactors. And We don't have to talk about that. So the, the element here <clears throat> is that certain things used in nuclear reactors slow down the rate at which essentially energy is moving. And there's something that is readily available that's used in a lot of reactors. It's called heavy water. You heard of this stuff? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I've heard of this. Yeah. So heavy water is made from salt water. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and and it's and its other name is called deuterium. You can't really buy it unless you're in the pharmaceutical industry at a commercial level. But it's non toxic. That's those tanks in like nuclear reactors where that lady dove into yeah. to kill herself on that new show on Netflix. Oh, real oh, three yeah. body. Oh, that's something. a three body problem. That thing is uh, that's doing neutron capture. So they're seeing how um, certain reactions, it's it's capturing the flow of particles and mapping it. That's what that system was for over at Oxford. The uh, what was the I water, saying? the deuterium. Oh, yeah, so the water. Okay, and we're talking about living for a long time. So, in the simplest sense, if you are aging because of this energy usage, because of how quickly like that light is moving out of your cells, what could you do to slow that down? What could you put in your body? to slow the rate of cellular death. Deuterium. You can drink it. No studies have shown ever that um, it's toxic for you, that it'll kill you any sort of large amount. So it's, it's a really dense salt water? No, so the salt water is removed, but they use salt water. It's it's easy to take salt water and change it into deuterium, just pure oh, deuterium. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And you can just drink this stuff. The pharmaceutical industry uses it for the creation of certain drugs. And the nuclear power industry uses it for the reactors to slow down certain reactions. But if you think of your body as a giant reactor, Mm. well, if you're preserving a nuclear reactor Mm -hmm. and you're trying to stabilize drugs, why wouldn't I drink this to stabilize my body? So I brought this up to some physicists. They're like, yeah, that actually, that that would work. Yeah, I wonder wonder if it would, like, because then you have, you have, like, metab, would it slow down the metab? Because you can't pick and choose what it's going to slow down. No, so, so overall, like, would it slow your metabolism down? Where you you'd have to like not eat as much. Well, your metabolism is it's dealing with ATP. It's energy in the cells. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, that's the mitochondria, all that. Yeah. But the the die off of cells, like the rate, like the, essentially your aging rate would mm-hmm. become slowed. Energy, time, cellular death rates—they're all interlinked. So the deuterium would slow down essentially this like crazy energy emission, essentially like this extra burn off, like the yeah, fumes yeah. of your car. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. You'd slow yeah. that down. So you could drink this stuff. Yeah. It'd be interesting. So I have a hypothesis. Where Just, can we buy it at? You can buy it commercially online from like people that manufacture it for pharma. And I mean, I, I guess I could try drinking it. Do I'm not, I'm not worried about it. I feel like I'd be like jacked up like I couldn't sleep. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I wonder what it would do. Yeah, you'd I'm going to live forever. You'd have to try it. It'd be, it. I mean, a clinical study, of course, would be the ideal environment where they're testing your blood. and. Testing but why your, is it that deuterium's been around for a long time? And no one. They know the benefits? Why hasn't no one been testing it for us drinking Well, there's it? millions of plants out there that yeah. can solve lots of problems. We haven't figured that shit out either. No, we haven't figured that out. I mean, the Amazon. You would think that the game, if a higher intelligence created the game of life, here on this planet for humans that the puzzle pieces would all be it's all given there for you. It's all here for you. So it's like, Oh, you want to live forever? Well, it's already here. Yeah. You just, you just got to figure it out. Go figure yeah. It. Yeah, exactly That's right. the game. Yeah. 